Here we go again. Manchester United have to make a decision on Jadon Sancho's future soon, according to Fabrizio Romano. Sancho has been playing a part in the club's pre-season after previously being frozen out by Eric Ten Hag. PSG are interested in the winger. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag has revealed he wants to make more additions to his squad before the transfer window closes at the end of August. The Dutchman said, I want the squad as strong as possible. With squad depth we need to catch up because we had injuries. Additionally, Alejandro Garnacho trained with Facundo Pelistri as they continue their recoveries from the Copa America. They are expected to join up with United for preseason soon. Garnacho wore an Al Itihad shirt, although he has not been linked with a move to the Saudi side. This season will be survival of the fittest. In other news, Manchester United will build a brand new two billions of pounds Old Trafford rather than redevelop their current ground. They plan to make an announcement in December about the new stadium, which will have a 100,000 capacity and be built right next to the current ground. The club has been on fact-finding missions to other grounds, including the Bernabeu and New Camp in Spain, both of which have undergone huge renovations. Officials have also been studying the SoFi Stadium while in Los Angeles, where United played Arsenal, to assess how the area around the ground has been regenerated. The stadium was completed in 2020 and was part of a four billions of pounds Hollywood complex to regenerate a major area of Inglewood. It was all funded by Arsenal owner Stan Kroenke, and the 70,000 stadium will host six World Cup games in 2026, including the competition's opener. United are looking to not only build a stadium, but regenerate the area of Trafford where the ground, set to be completed by 2030, will stand. The Old Trafford Task Force was set up when Sir Jim Ratcliffe became a part owner of United and had looked hard at regenerating the current ground. However, a number of logistical problems could have made the cost even higher than a new build while reducing the capacity as work was being done or even requiring the team to temporarily move. Also, it is felt that a club of United standing should have a new state-of-the-art facility. They are mindful of maintaining the club's identity in the new stadium which will be built on land adjacent to the Red Devils' current home. Old Trafford has been United's home since 1910 and has undergone various extensions. The club have consulted with 30,000 fans about what to do and believe there is roughly a 50-50 split on staying or moving. The project's funding is still being discussed, with the idea of a mixture of public and private funding. On the other side, Manchester United have made two marquee signings in the transfer market in the form of Lenny Yoro and Joshua Xerxy, and they will be looking to further that in the coming weeks with a spate of new signings. And that could still include Matthijs De Ligt, according to Fabrizio Romano, with the Italian journalist claiming that the Bayern star is dreaming of the opportunity to join the Red Devils. Ineos' first transfer window as minority shareholders has had a decent start, with the two young stars joining the club on long-term deals for a combined outlay of just under 100 millions of pounds. There will be a natural focus on outgoings, with their only major sale so far being that of Mason Greenwood as the new ownership team look towards changing the fortunes of the club. But once they are sorted, a move for Delict could come to fruition with the player dreaming of a move to the Northwest. Meanwhile, a deal for Bayern Munich right-back Nusser Mazraoui is also progressing with the Moroccan also wanting to make the switch to Old Trafford. So, speaking on his Here We Go podcast, Fabrizio Romano gave United fans hope by suggesting that despite a move not advancing for De Ligt to move to Old Trafford, the player is still dreaming of the opportunity to move to the club. And that is a possibility in the future, as long as they sell a current star to cover the costs of the move. He said that, he delict remains an option for Manchester United. The conversation is ongoing on the club's side, but again, on the player's side, there are still no changes. The player wants to go to Manchester United, the player dreams of this opportunity, but now it depends on the clubs. What's the problem? It's kind of a domino effect. So we need one of the pieces of this domino to move, because basically, Manchester United want to bring in one more centre-back, but they also need an outgoing to make it easier. Moreover, De Ligt, described as world-class by Bayern sporting director Christoph Freund, 
would be a superb signing for the Red Devils, and having been touted with a move for a fee of just 42 millions of pounds, his availability at such a low fee is an opportunity that Eric Ten Hag and Dan Ashworth should be snatching at, especially with the player being incredibly keen on a move to the Theatre of Dreams. Yoro is a superb signing for the club and will no doubt be a strong buy for the future, but the Frenchman is lacking in experience and he could take a couple of years to assimilate to the Premier League before finally making his mark at Old Trafford. Rafael Varane's departure to Como means that Yoro has effectively replaced him, but with Victor Lindelof being linked with a move away from United, a new man would be needed, and that could well be Delict, having worked with Ten Hag at Ajax, where he became, and remains, the only defender to ever win the UEFA Golden Boy Award after his breakthrough in the Netherlands. Should he join, it would leave Johnny Evans as fifth choice having signed for an extra season, but a quartet of Delict, Yoro, Lisandro Martinez and Harry Maguire represents a huge improvement in their defensive ranks for the Red Devils. On the other side, Manchester United shines in Los Angeles training session. Los Angeles, July 29, 2024. Manchester United continued their pre-season tour with an intense training session at the renowned Dignity Health Sports Park in Los Angeles. As the team prepares for the upcoming season, spirits are high and the players are showing impressive form. The session began early in the morning, with manager Eric Ten Hag focusing on tactical drills and conditioning exercises. The coaching staff emphasized ball control, quick passing, and pressing tactics aiming to instill a fast-paced style of play. Among the standout performers with many United players, including young talented players, who demonstrated their playmaking abilities with precise passes and strategic vision. Meanwhile, new coaching staff held their leadership on the field was evident, guiding younger players and orchestrating attacks with flair. Marcus Rashford, fresh from his summer break, showed remarkable speed and agility creating several goal-scoring opportunities during scrimmages. The player commitments held to improving finishing skills of forward players was evident, as they trained to score several goals in high-pressure situations. Different young players and midfielder Mason Mount integrated well with the squad, showcasing their versatility and work rate. The ability of Mount to link defense with attack was on full display, and he looks set to become a key figure in the team's midfield this season. Again, the training session also highlighted different Manchester United's promising young talent. Ahmad and Hannibal Mabry and Academy graduates caught the eye with their technical abilities and composure. Ten Hag has expressed his intent to give more opportunities to youth players this season, and these youngsters seem eager to seize their chances. Fans gathered outside the training facility, hoping to catch a glimpse of their favorite stars. The players took time after the session to sign autographs and take pictures, reinforcing the strong bond between the team and its global fan base. As the Los Angeles leg of their tour wraps up, Manchester United will head and ready to go again onto their next friendly match. The team's progress during these sessions suggests that they are well prepared to face the challenges of the upcoming Premier League season. With a blend of experienced players and emerging talent, Manchester United aims to make a strong start and contend for top honours. The excitement among fans and players alike is palpable, as the Red Devils gear up for another thrilling season. The atmosphere in the camp is positive, with players and coaching staff expressing enthusiasm about the preparations. The training sessions are not only about hard work, but also building team camaraderie and ensuring the players are mentally ready for the challenges ahead. Fans can keep up with the latest from the tour through updates on the Manchester United website and social media platforms. The tour continues with matches against Real Betis and Liverpool, providing further tests for the squad as they fine-tune their strategies.